I will lift up mine eyes unto the hills from whence cometh my help. My help cometh from the Lord who made the heavens Shade upon thy 
Welcome everyone to Psalm 23 and the Chakra Satsang with Mary Cretsman. My name is Rev Diana Pandito and in today's satsang we will focus on the reading affirmations, the visualization and the chakra on he leadeth me beside the still waters from the book Divine Will Healing. I will also play um, the keynote on the harmonium that focuses on the Swadhisthana chakra, the second chakra. And we will end with healing prayers for the world. So I will start with Mary Kretzman introducing Psalm 23. The 23rd Psalm is one of the most mystical passages in the Bible, representing the soul's journey up the spine once the soul has chosen the Lord or the divine light as the shepherd of life. The divine energy comes in through the spiritual eye and the medulla oblongata and fills the body with divine light. As you listen to this special visualization, relax and feel the presence of divine light entering your body. It is already there. Let it increase and grow. As Christ said, the eye is the lamp of the body. If thine eye be single, thy whole body shall be full of light. This represents the spiritual eye. And at the medulla, he said, man is not fed by bread alone, but by every word that proceedeth from the mouth of God, which is the other word for the medulla. So receive this light. Om. Peace. Amen. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of mine enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil. My cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of mine enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil, my cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of mine enemies. 
Thou anointest my head with oil, my cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in the path of righteousness for his name, name's sake. Ye though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of mine enemy. Thou anointest my head with oil. My cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever.
Now we will enter into our reading for he leadeth me besides the still water. This still water is fresh, clear water, not lifeless stagnation. The image refers to transmuting the sexual energy into something exalted, rare and beautiful. Remembering that this psalm describes the inner spine, it is helpful to ask. How can I keep myself sensitively aware of this divine energy flowing in the center of my being? And what would give refreshing beauty to the sexual and creative impulse? Everything is relative, varying degrees of stillness can be experienced in how one handles the sex force. When an individual becomes fixated on sensual desire, there enters a great restlessness and a corresponding loss of soul quality. For the person who has tended toward shallow and fleeting love affairs, it would be a huge step toward inner stillness to simply make a deep commitment to love, honour and cherish one and only one beloved in the name of God. The physical expression of is an important tender connection for many couples. It is often best then to focus on bringing in greater compassionate, caring love and thus lessening the sense of lust in the act rather than to become radical and renounce it all prematurely in the name of zealous spiritual aspiration. As a married couple learns, the balance between sexual expression and inner stillness 
great love can deepen between them. If they are also mindful to find other ways of expressing their tenderness for one another, the less they otherwise become too astir or distant, be deeply kind to one another always. Seeing the divine beloved enshrined in one another's forms, the couple can both give and receive deeper love. In this way, love over time is transmuted from the second chakra up to the heart center and higher. The process must proceed with self-honesty and compassionate consideration toward the needs of both one's beloved and oneself. A marriage if it is to be a blessing in one's life, requires attention on many levels. As the energy is gradually lifted up from the sexual center to higher levels, some attention must be directed to the blessing to blessing the couple as a couple and not focused only on the journey of the individual souls. The soul is felt in deep inner quiet. And be still and know that I am God. The most profound example of this still water is seen in the saint who has transmuted the physical longing altogether inwardly merging his or her heart's love with the divine. At whatever point on this continuum, a person finds himself he can move toward that center of stillness and divinity within, thus allowing the energy to rise to the higher centers and restore the soul nature. At whatever point on this continuum a person finds himself, 
you can move toward that center of stillness and divinity within, thus allowing the energy to rise to the highest center. and restore the soul nature. So now let's affirm, he leadeth me beside the still water. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He leadeth me beside the still. Water. Now let's visualize. See the clear water of a beautiful mountain lake. Reflective. Cool. And still. Rest. Reflect. See the clear water of a beautiful mountain lake.
reflective, cool, and still. Rest. Reflect. Now let's take the energy from our affirmation and visualization and focus it at the second chakra. At the sacrum, the water element. creative impulse, sexual energy, which supplies energy to the sexual organs. And now let's see the clear water of a beautiful mountain lake. Reflective, cool, 
and still. Rest. And reflect. And now, let's play the sacred sound. For the second
And now let's take the blessings on Psalm 23. into praying for the world. Using the divine mother's prayer. By Paramahansa Yogananda. Divine Mother, Thou art omnipresent. And Thou art in all Thy children. And thou art in the world. Manifest Thy healing presence in all body, mind, and soul. Divine Mother, Thou art omnipresent. Thou art in all thy children. Thou art in the world. Manifest thy healing presence in all mind. body and soul. Divine Mother, Thou art omnipresent. Thou art in all thy children. And thou art in the world. Manifest thy healing presence. Manifest thy healing presence. Manifest thy healing presence in all, in all, in all bodies, mind, and soul. Oh. Oh. 
He leadeth me beside the still waters. I've passed my life as a stranger, Lord. Room far in foreign lands, far, Lord, far. 
A stranger did take me in. Then love, I thought, was near. Love, Lord, only a dream. As the winds upon the desert sand whisper. So love sighs and disappears. Sometimes a child laughed and I did pause and dream of joys at home. Joys, Lord, only a dream. Empty like the ocean foam. For what joy is there without your smile? You're the sea, all else is foam. How long must I be a wanderer? I've grown tired of strangers' songs. Home is where my Lord's sweet presence is. Bless me that I hear your song. 